so equilibrium condition you have to check for any of the structure this is the first thing that is what uh, we are going to use start you have to have the equilibrium but there are certain challenges what are those structure having two aspect one is determinant one is indeterminant so in case of a indeterminate structure how you solve how you solve for the unknowns a little bit louder no see what is the structural indeterminacy m plus r minus 2j if this is the case and my structural indeterminacy is suppose here i have uh, member and reactions let us say 4 and 3 and joints are 3 so this is 6 4 plus 3 7 minus 6 equal to 1 my indeterminacy is 1 so in that case how do you solve for that one extra unknown don't worry about the btech if you have not heard i'll come to that don't worry if you are not following what i'm saying don't worry i'll come to that but just i would like to convey you the structure having determinacy and indeterminacy so if you want i can explain it in more detail so do you want me to explain do you also want okay there is a small structure before coming to this aspect let us say there is a truss and this truss this particular point is hinge joint and this particular point is roller supported and here it is subjected to certain load p if you see the equation of equilibrium efx equal to 0 efy equal to 0 and efm moment is 0 is not valid because this is truss truss is something which is subjected to axial load only axial load only it cannot take flexural load flexure flexure is bending so it is not taking bending so i am not considering here moment equation so at this point what about this hinge support hinge support there is a reaction 1 there is a reaction 2 two. two reactions what about roller this is free so this is restrained only in this direction r3 let us say so how many reactions are not known to me three this is r this is 3 here what about the member force each member if you discretize here or maybe discretize here maybe discretize here this is subjected to only two load axial direction each are equal and opposite so this member force 1 2 3 3 also not known to me that means this member force also 3 and this is 3 plus 3 6 that means six unknowns are there in this particular equation what about the known condition how many equations i can solve for this i have a equation here efx equal to 0 efy equal to 0 how many joints are there two into joint why two equation number 1 equation number 2 so how many equation i have 2 into 3 that is 6 so 6 unknown 6 known equations can i solve but as cited here the structures are practically this structure where you are sitting is not determinate structure it is indeterminate why let us take one example this is truss but this is not truss this is a portal frame grid frame so if you talk about a grid frame a simple example so typically this is all about this type and this is my column 1 column 2 and beam 1 so how do you find the indeterminacy here same equation m plus r minus 2j no most of the people they do mistake if you go for m plus 2 minus this you will see a one peculiar thing let me show 
so m member how many 1 2 3 3 plus equation is saying r r reaction 1 reaction 2 reaction 3 reaction 4 plus 4 minus 2 into joint joint number 1 2 3 4 so 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 8 equal to minus 1 minus 1 how peculiar so minus 1 means this structure is not stable but typically if you see the structure it is stable the it is foundation at the foundation i have pile or i have my all the mechanism to transfer uh, the uh, the soil can take by having the bearing capacity and it can take it is fully uh, 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 stable structure but my equation is saying something minus 1 isn't it funny so this equation is not valid for structures yeah for this is not fixed end this is with a two direction, 2D portal frame. In case of a 3D portal frame, what you are saying is right. It is a 2D portal frame. You do not have anything flexure. You have rigid. Rigid means what? Typically, rigid means Fx, Fy, Fg. But here, this is a 2D. You know idealization, simplicity, simplifying the case. This is a 2D condition. This is a 2D condition. This is fixed. If this is fixed, you have how many degree of freedom? 6 degree of freedom. All 6 are 0. But as far as this particular condition is concerned. That is, that is what I am saying. If you have a rotation here, I can free it or I can constrain it. You see, for indeterminacy, what you do? If you have suppose three indeterminacy, so this is a structure where let us say this is fixed and this is roller, okay? And if I remove this support, this will be a cantilever. And my before indeterminacy was two, and when I remove the roller, this reaction was cancelled, so this two become one. For solving or for simplicity, what we do sometimes, we remove certain degree of freedom in order to simplify the project. So, a fixed joint is typically having 6 degree of freedom. Those are 0. Those are 0. Why I am taking 2 is, there is a, there is a column. Typically, it is having a cross section. It is having a reinforcement. If it is a steel structure, there is a steel. But here, what I am trying to convey is, this particular point is in a 2D frame. In a 2D frame, I am not considering anything flexure or bending moment. If you are considering bending moment, it is okay. 